let's let's go into the F wave mode and I'm gonna press next here and you see that the display changed a little bit I'm gonna show you what that means it says median F left and now I'm gonna stimulate the, I st stimulate the median nerve at the wrist for the F wave I don't change anything okay I just put the stimulator like this I leave the electrode exactly where they are and as I said the electricity now is going up and going down but I'm gonna analyze what went up this time so when I stimulate this I'm now paying attention to what's going up and here we go I'm gonna give her some electricity so on this side you're gonna see what's coming from the hand and on this side you're gonna see what's coming from the neck so here we go you give her stimulation you see what's coming from the hand here I'm not giving her enough electricity so I don't see anything coming back from the neck so I'm gonna go up now I'm beginning to see maybe a little bit of uh, wave coming from the neck you can see it here you're gonna see it better in a minute here we go now with the F wave it's very important to distract the subject while you're doing this because it might have some reflex responses in it and when you distract them you can get a better response so let's try this here's a little ball here that we use and we ask the subject to squeeze it basically that's all we do okay and that distracts it so grab this and obviously have him squeeze it with the right hand if you're doing the left with the left hand if you're doing the right and that distracts them and maybe that gives us some better responses so let's do that again uh, and uh, make sure that uh, you continue squeezing them as much as possible so that we can see the responses okay so let's let's see here and we can begin to see a good response okay so now that we got some responses you see here on the right side we know that the left side is working we not look at the right side the right side is coming from the neck so let's do this here and we start stimulating I'm gonna give you about 10 shocks because I'm gonna see which one is the best one for me to measure and the best one is the fastest one so the one that has the shortest latency here we go one shock two nice F wave here you see that because she was squeezing three four very nice one five six seven eight nine ten thank you very much that was great and uh, that squeezing really did it so now I'm gonna analyze them and the computer now here is superimposed them and it just tells you that the shortest latency F wave is probably this one right here the computer automatically measures it and gives you a shortest latency F wave when we superimpose them we can see which one is the earliest one and which one is the latest one that's why we superimpose them and the computer measures that automatically and tells it what it is